Alright guys, uh, this is Chairlift Chronicles, and this is the current situation. Uh, so obviously it is raining, it's about 50 degrees, it is windy, so I'm not riding. And then there is another potential situation that has arisen. Um, so these guys are great, these are my new... Uh, boots. I use them for work and to play in. Um, unfortunately, the right boot uh, has been rubbing against my ankle the wrong way, and uh, I'm working on breaking them in because they are brand new boots. Uh, my my work bag slash riding bag, my helmet, uh, which is in. Hmm. relatively decent condition. I'm pretty sure that all the scratches on it are from it sitting rolling around the trunk of my car all summer. Uh, and then we'll go over a little bit of the gear that I have. So this is my Moro Wildflower uh, with head bindings. Um, Medium paid 60 bucks for those last year. I really like how they tighten down and loosen up. They're actually really nice bindings. Um, I've been surprised at the, the game that head has been coming in. Um, so these are really nice. Um, I'm just going to go over. Uh, so I got this about two and a half winters ago. I traded in my Monument snowboard, which was entirely too large for me. Um, this is in relatively decent condition. Oh, that's a new one. Lovely. Um... I just got it waxed and edged, but, uh, unfortunately, my gouge, uh, that had been epoxied once, it has resurfaced, and I just noticed this one right here, and there is one down here, and one over here now, um, and unfortunately for me, you can tell that the head bindings were bought from uh, Played Again. Uh, I live an hour away from the closest town here, and there are no Played Agains within 150 to 200 mile radius from here. So that means even if it was close, it'd still be at least a four hour drive for me to get to one. Uh, so right now I'm trying to figure out and price out some things and see what I can do to save up and try and figure out some other places that might have deals on snowboards so I can go ahead and uh, replace this guy with one that doesn't have dings and isn't starting to peel apart because that potentially could end up into some serious safety issues and I do not want that. Uh, that's why I traded in my old board because it was just much, much too heavy for me. Uh, this one is a very flowy, light, maneuverable, all mountain board. Uh, it's, I believe a rocker board, but I could be mistaken. I've rode both camber and rockers, and this one feels more like a rocker-esque board. Uh, I've borrowed a few of the cambered boards and the directional boards, and I did not care much for them. Um, so, that's my Chairlift Chronicles today, is being depressed that I can't ride. Oh, being upset that I can't ride due to the weather and being upset that my equipment isn't up to the par that it should be.
Uh, tomorrow I start a new adventure, so I may update after work. Uh, and then I go back to being on the mountain. Hopefully Thursday we actually get some snow in. Anyhow, peace.